So this, for my purposes, I would consider the ultimate 22 long rifle firearm. It's actually a pistol, but I didn't want to put pistol in the description and have people think it's a handgun. So, originally, I bought a conversion kit, which I used, you can see the long barrel right there, and it worked really well, really good accuracy, used with the standard AR-15 lower, but I wanted something more compact. I ran across this at a show, the Magpul Backpacker, for about $400 and was very interested in it, but then I found out that Tactical Solutions actually makes their own version, and that was $1,200. So once I saw that, I figured I should just go back to my original plan and build a 22 long rifle upper. And why I think it's the ultimate 22 long rifle upper, not only is its usability, its cost effectiveness, but also due to the fact that I have a very modular setup. And let me pull this out and show it to you real quick. No bolt is currently in here. This is the 22 long rifle bolt right here. So this is a standard AR-15 lower with the pistol brace and the Dolos kit on the front. And I'll show you the Dolos kit is a quick change barrel. Typically you'd pull the uh, bolt catch to the back to change out the barrel. However, with 22 long rifle, that doesn't work. You actually have to pop the pin and remove the bolt carrier. But you just pull down, twist, and pop out the barrel in the hand guard. So I wanted to be able to do this because I wanted to be able to change the different lengths. I, I think this is a 7 inch barrel and this is an 11 inch barrel, uh, ultra lightweight and this has the barrel shroud on there. I like the look of the barrel shrouds as you can see right there. So I'll just put that back on. So if I wanted to change out the barrel, what I would do, and sorry, kind of doing this improv, so take off a muzzle device or the barrel shroud if it's larger than the barrel. Then you would take one of the Dolos hand guards, put it in, and all you have to do, line up the pin, push it in, lock it in place. So it's a very quick change barrel setup, but I think what also makes this for me the ultimate 22 long rifle is it's very modular because with the quick change barrel, and I'll take that out, not only can I have 22 long rifle, but I can have 9mm. This is a 9mm barrel. Pop that in. And then for 9mm, I have this adapter for the 9mm magazines. And I'll have a link to most of the stuff here. But I really like this because it doesn't require 
any permanent modifications. All you have to do is pop it in and tighten that little hex key right there and it stays in and where's an empty nine millimeter magazine here we go so now it's set up for nine millimeter very quick setup however i would not use the dolo setup for anything other than more of a, a range gun or a plinking toy I just don't have the confidence with the dolo setup it uh, so far has worked well for me it just doesn't seem as solid as I would like however there is an option for that And what we have here is the MGI Hydra, which uh, Wyndham Weaponry also, uh, I, I think they took over the brand and uh, are marketing this under the multi-caliber system MCS. And I've had really good luck with these quick change barrel uppers. Uh, the Dolo setup, fine for a range or plinking toy, but anything more than that, I really just don't have the confidence in the setup. However, that is not the case with the MGI Hydra uh, Wyndham Weaponry multi-caliber system. To change the barrel, you pop that open, pull this up, pull the tabs out and the barrel comes out completely and what's great about this system over the Dolo system is this one you don't need a specific dedicated upper if you have a gas tube for this one you just line it up and I'll try to do this here line it up Pins back in, pull that down, snap it into place. Now it's set up for 300 blackout. And it's the same procedure. Here's a, this is a Noveski 300 blackout with the barrel shroud. This is Noveski 556. You could also use a 9mm barrel, which this is, or you can use the 22 long rifle barrel. So, a lot of modularity in this setup. If you're looking for more than a range toy and you uh, also want to use something with a gas tube, I would recommend the MGI system over the Dolos hands down. Um, if you only want to do 22 long rifle and or 9mm, I think, and it's just a range toy, I would say the Dolo setup would be sufficient for that. Let me get this back in here. So I've been very happy with this setup. Right now it has the Franklin Armory binary trigger and that works incredibly well, especially with 22 long rifle. I've had zero issues, 100% uh, function with that. A lot of fun to play with. So those are just some of my uh, ideas and what I ended up with when I wanted to come up with the 22 long rifle. And I hope that gives you some ideas on things that uh, you can do uh, in your various builds. 
And one last thing, sometime soon I will be posting another video as I'm trying to build a semi-lightweight AR. Let me pull that out real quick. And currently, it is four pounds, three and three eighths ounces. I have some V7 parts coming, which should reduce that to right at four pounds. The optic will add two ounces, uh, but overall for an AR pistol and 5.56, fairly lightweight, Hello Kitty pins, purple grip, and this is my Snowflake AR, but overall, not too bad, but I think it would cost a lot of money to get it below that four pound mark. So uh, four pounds is what I'm shooting for at this point. So once I finish that, you can expect to see the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And that's it.